Now to the investigation into why an SUV plowed into a group of people at a bus stop outside a migrant shelter in Texas. Eight people died, 10 hurt, many of them from, a, from Venezuela, according to the Brownsville, Texas police chief. Police say that driver is now in custody on charges, including eight counts of manslaughter. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more on what happened. Authorities have identified the driver. They say crashed into a crowd of people, some of them migrants, in Brownsville, Texas, leaving at least eight dead and 10 injured. Investigation also revealed that the driver of the vehicle, later identified as George Alvarez, November 9th, 1988, had attempted to flee the scene after impact but was held down by several individuals on scene. The harrowing moment captured on this surveillance video. The group seen here just before the impact, sitting on a curb waiting for a bus. They had just left a homeless shelter that helps migrants in South Texas. The bus is in a very busy intersection and it's just seeing one post with the sign of the bus where people need to wait for the bus standing up. Instead of being standing up, there were sitting on the edge of the road, of the sidewalk. Authorities say Alvarez lives in Brownsville. Sources say at this point, investigators have not determined whether the crash was a deliberate act of targeting the victims because of their immigration status or an accident. Today, though, officials revealing Alvarez has a long criminal history. George Alvarez is a Brownsville local with an extensive rap sheet. He has been formally charged and arraigned with eight counts of manslaughter, 10 counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Back at the scene, a growing memorial as the community remembers the lives lost. Police say Alvarez is not cooperating with authorities. They add his toxicology results are pending. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.